Space debris is a big issue that's affecting all of us. It's important for everyday life. The worst case, um, if we were to lose satellite services, would be that loss of communication day to day for things like the emergency services, crisis response. So we now need to address the space debris problem and start to reduce it and become more sustainable in space. Space is a common good, like an ocean. We need to act responsibly. And here at ESA, we take this mission at heart. That's why we're supporting this partnership with Astroscale. In the ELSA MIOD mission, there are four major partners working really closely together to deliver the mission. Our direct customer, which is UTOSAT OneWeb. UTOSAT OneWeb is playing a dual role. The first one is to support Astroscale UK by facilitating the funding and the expertise from the agencies. They're the global satellite operator with a low Earth orbit constellation of satellites of about 650. We have the European Space Agency. For ESA, it is very important to demonstrate the commercial viability to uh, help those companies who are taking the risk to get into an unknown territory. This is a first. And then we have the UK Space Agency that is overseeing the overall mission and providing uh, some of the co-funding. The Space Agency is really pleased to be able to support the ELSA M project. Space sustainability is a strategic priority for the UK. It gives us a competitive advantage and I think the unique offering that the ELSA M service provides will demonstrate that space sustainability can be a commercially viable service for everyone. So it's a real partnership. It's showing the world how to do space sustainability. We have thousands of satellites in orbit today. There are plans for many more to come. But with this multiplication of assets, we absolutely need to think end to end. So not only from design and the launch of the satellite, but also the end of life. ELSA-M stands for End of Life Services by Astroscale Multi and that will go into orbit in 2026 and remove a OneWeb satellite that's at end of life. So our LEO satellites are designed with reliability in mind and to be able to deorbit themselves but no system is 100% reliable. Uh, what we're doing with ELSA-M is capturing an object that's in an uncontrolled state. So it could be tumbling, it could have some sort of damage that we won't actually see until we get very close to the spacecraft. We focus on a magnetic docking plate that's on board the spacecraft that OneWeb a spacecraft have. We will then capture that and then create a very strong bond, but then when we get to a safe altitude below the space station, so there's no human risk, we release the OneWeb spacecraft and it burns up in the atmosphere, which is a world first. No other company, no other nation has actually captured another spacecraft in orbit and brought it down and uh, allowed it to re-enter safely in the Earth's atmosphere. Once the ELSA-M IOD mission is complete, we are planning to develop a service that we will introduce that will be available for commercial satellite operators or government all around the world. And this will be a turning point in the narrative of a constellation provider towards a more sustainable use of space. It is a new area. It is an area that pulls on existing technologies in other domains, creating new technologies, attracting talents, attracting investors. It's really exciting. The ELSA-M project is really at the cutting edge. Astroscale's mission is to make in-orbit servicing a reality and make it routine by 2030. It's an important capability that we need to clear our orbits of debris and make them safe and secure for the future.